Hey, what's going on, baseball world? Brad here with Slider Domination. In this video here today, I'm going to share with you three simple things which you need to do to throw the slider consistently. When you throw the slider consistently, you will flat out dominate the competition. So let's jump right into it, shall we? Number one, stay behind the baseball. Now this is also important for throwing a fastball and your other pitches as well. And what do I mean when I say stay behind the baseball? It means don't be underneath the ball or around the side of it too much. And some pitchers want to get around the ball, think that's kind of how to make it break. It doesn't work that way. Now regardless of your arm slot, whether you're over the top, three quarters, low three quarters, side arm, and so on, you probably get this point in your delivery by doing everything correctly with your mechanics from the ground up from the first movement with your feet in order to deliver the pitch. Pitching is a connective chain of movements. As you put this into action, you will notice the prerequisites of staying behind the baseball as they continue on to the next two steps as well. And when you can stay behind the ball, you'll be in more command of your pitches. When you see a pitcher falling underneath the baseball, you know bad things are gonna happen. You can foresee that before he even releases the pitch. And the best case scenario is that it misses the strike zone. Now, when you do this step correctly, you execute the second step properly also. Step number two, release the slider out in front. Releasing the slider out in front maximizes its effectiveness. Your best position to finish the pitch and command the slider how you wish. It's going to break later and sharper and that's exactly what you want in this dominant pitch. Now the more consistently you can do this, the more consistent your results will be. And that's what coaches and scouts want to see. I know where you want to be as a pitcher. Step number three, throw the slider downhill. Now naturally, when you do the first two correctly, this one will follow suit. Downhill, throwing the slider downhill means you're gonna have more tilt. It's more of a two-plane slider, which means it breaks down and away from the hitter, or down and into the hitter. This is not a side-to-side -side breaking pitch. And when you do this correctly, you're gonna miss more bats. So obviously, that means more strikeouts and more pissed off hitters who face you. Nothing wrong with that, right? Now, when you have the mindset to throw your slider and all your pitches downhill for that matter, your body will cooperate with you to make the ball go accordingly. You won't be fighting yourself. You're gonna be relaxed and fluid. And that's how pitchers want to be. Now, if you're not mentally prepared and focused on throwing downhill, you won't. Now, let's transition the verbal to the visual. We're gonna look at a short clip of the best of the best. Here is a slider thrown by Clayton Kershaw from a breakdown video I did of the lefty. And in slow motion, you can see he has done everything correctly in his mechanics here to enable him to stay behind the baseball, release it out in front, and throw it downhill. And obviously, the result speaks for itself. Now let's watch that one more time and let it sink in. Downright dominant. Now if this video has helped you out with your slider, Give us a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, and check out our other videos on here. And please feel free to share them with all your social networks. And as always, keep dominating.